Hey everyone, it's Connor Mitchell, head whiz of Dragon Rider Network, and welcome to another episode of 24 Days of Texember Season 3, our annual series to show you some of the coolest technology out there for the holiday season. Today we will be looking at some of the technology that either didn't fit into any of the lists or things that I thought should just be part of their own category, something I call the oddball list. So anyway, let's get into it. To start this list, we take a look at the Polaroid Cube Plus live streaming action camera for $150. I reviewed the previous version of this cube. It's basically like a GoPro, but for those who don't want to drop several hundred dollars on an action camera. Looking at what this new cube provides, it's a pretty impressive upgrade over the last. The Cube Plus now provides live video streaming connected to social networks. So far, it's only Facebook, but Polaroid says more are coming in the future. I would put my money on Instagram. Shooting and sharing video is super easy. You just press the giant button on top of the camera and then save and share the video straight to your phone or other mobile device right over Wi-Fi. You have shooting options of 720p, 1080p, and now 1440p, and all of those include image stabilization and can get 110 minutes of continuous shooting with the built-in battery. And with the magnet on the bottom, you can just stick this camera to any magnetic surface and get a variety of different cases and mounting options. If for one reason or another you are not crazy about any of the current Kindles, Barnes & Noble is here with their latest solution, the Barnes & Noble Nook Glow Light 3 for $119. This e-paper reader has a built-in backlight which is powerful enough to read in bed or in the bright light of the sun. The backlight is also able to provide a night mode which you can adjust manually or set to an automatic mode which mimics the progression of the sun throughout the day. Since you won't be doing any kind of gaming or watching videos on this reader, the battery is going to get you a crazy 50 days of use on a single charge. So forget about having enough battery for the plane ride, you will have enough battery to get you through the next month and a half. Also, since you won't have to worry about books taking up much digital storage space, you can literally carry thousands of books with you right on the Nook. And you'll have millions of titles that are provided by Barnes & Noble. And you can visit any Barnes & Noble store and receive free in-person support to help you with any problems you might be having with your Nook. If you're looking for a way to join the world of 360 video and want to record it wherever you go, then you should definitely check out the Ricoh Theta V 360 spherical camera for $430. This is a pocketable camera that can shoot smooth 360 degree video at 30 frames per second in either 1080p or 4K. It saves the files in H.264 for easy compatibility and there is no stitching required on the user's end. There's a four channel microphone built into this camera so it is able to capture audio in every direction and really gives you the feeling of being immersed in your video. This camera is also the world's first remote playback capable fully spherical camera which means this will be able to play back your 360 degree videos and images on a display over wireless when using the proper adapter. And you can connect to a smartphone over Bluetooth which allows you to increase the usability of the camera and sharing videos. If you miss the days of instant photos from your old Polaroid cameras, Polaroid is back with a device fit for the 21st century and that is the Polaroid Zip mobile printer for about 100 bucks. This miniature printer connects to your phone or tablet over Bluetooth or NFC and is able to print 2 inch by 3 inch photos in full color. This printer is just as pocketable as your phone as it comes in at only 3 inches by 4.5 and inches and weighs only 6.6 .6 ounces. The only thing you have to get for this printer is the paper, as the printer uses a technology called zinc paper, which means no ink, and that means you never have to buy ink cartridges for this printer. The paper you get for this printer can also come in the form of peel-back sticky paper, so you can make photo stickers right from your phone and your mini printer. So if you are either into scrapbooking or just want to share some physical copies of photos you've taken on the go, Polaroid has you covered. Finally, this is a product that is now nearly seven years old, but it is still one of the best beginner DSLRs you can get, and that is the Canon Rebel T3i. Prices range all over the place, but I've seen some places online where you can get this camera with an 18 to 55 millimeter kit for as low as $250. What you get with this camera still holds up quite well today. An 18 megapixel APS-C CMOS sensor with a nine point autofocus system, an ISO range of 100 to 6400 and expandable to 12,800, and a full HD 1080p video recording mode with manual controls. By the end of this month, I will have been using this camera for six years and it still holds up with every event I have ever covered. From shooting videos here in the studio, to making film projects on the go, to covering events like CES, and going across the country more times than I can count, this camera has seen it all. And if there was one camera that I could not recommend enough for anyone getting into photography or videography, this would be it. So anyway everyone, those are my top 5 oddball technologies that you can get this holiday season. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more episodes of 24 Days of Tech-Sember. I've been Connor Mitchell, and I will catch all of you at the next episode. See you then.